Uh, yeah. Don't go in there. Right. Somebody just died in there. We do like to shame people. <laughs> I'm like, come on. Yeah. You know? So you can understand when you've got somebody that's walking around doing that kind of I only do it thing. when I, when they catch me coming out of the room. You, you, well, you <laughs> announce. You and that, you, yeah. yeah. Well, I come out and I see a salesperson heading like back either. there to do yeah, their yeah. own business. Yeah. I'd be like, go to the left, don't go to the right. He just told me that last week. We were doing the hot list, and I was like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. He's like, go to the right one. Like, before you even get, yeah. which I appreciate the heads up. Yeah. You know who I love to go to the bathroom after is Holly Morgan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She she wipes yeah. it down. She cleans it up. She does a little spray in there. That smells good. It's always so nice. Yeah. yeah. She yep. takes good care of it. And then I go in there and I defile it. <laughs> but they have. And I, mean, I try to do the same. But they have Lysol and products. I mean, our bathroom. Some, most of the time, yeah. Like I feel like other businesses often when we you leave. No, but Holly adds her own something. Scent. Like it's, her it's perfume, not. Yeah. yeah. We used to have poopery in every That's, stall. I think either a people stole it or b it's not in the budget. There anymore. was so <laughs> much being used that yeah. it didn't make the cut. Well, I mean, we could always. You know, bring, you can always bring our own. Yeah. yeah. It's probably <laughs> a lot more information than folks listening <laughs> cared for, but, you know. But hey. Yeah. It's true. John Mataris is here. I'm sure he's oh, thrilled sure to he walk in on these poopy pants conversations. <laughs> is 50 the new 20? A lot of parents are acting like it. The Wall Street Journal just did a story on how the hot new trend is to visit your kid at college to party with them. All right. Their headline is, this is the Wall Street Journal headline. It's 10 a.m. and dad's doing jello shots. <laughs> Must be parents weekend. Oh, wow. This happens everywhere around here. Yeah, touring the campus and meeting professors, that's still a thing that schools offer, but apparently more and more parents are following that stuff up with keg stands. Oh, my God. They talked to a 53-year-old mom from Kansas with multiple kids who said she's done nine parents' weekends at three schools, played lots of beer pong and flip cup, <laughs> and once held a girl's hair back for her while she puked. Oh, my God. Oh, my word. Now, she claims, and I've talked to parents about this. I have friends who have college-age kids who are in college now, and I can give you some opinions on this here in a sec. In this lady's case from Kansas, she claims her kids are cool with it and seem to enjoy partying with her. She said they like seeing that side of her because it's a it's a different aspect of the parental relationship. Her 22-year-old daughter, when interviewed by the Wall Street Journal, agreed. She said, you know, it's fun hanging out with mom and dad as adults because it is an opportunity for me to see them not just as parents. But that's a very limited time oh, window because oh, yeah. it, it gets to a point where it's like, dad, you got to chill. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, yeah. this is embarrassing. Mom, your kid at you need to other. take him home. Yeah, <laughs> you need to get him out of here. The director of sororities and fraternities at the University of Arizona did confirm that it's a major trend. At least down there, it is. He said he's seen parents do beer pongs and dance on yeah. tables, and he said oh the parents God. often act crazier than their kids because, well, you know, they're the kids are trying to like, relive oh something. And, yeah, the kids are like. God, please chill. <laughs> <laughs> we went to a college party a couple of years ago on New Year's Eve. It was myself and Scott and this other couple, and it was their kids' New Year's Eve college party. And we walked in and turned that party up. Like, I mean, yeah. like nobody's business. Because I think we felt like we really had to bring it yeah. because we were going in with all these college kids. Like so, Scott and Kevin were playing beer pong and But so a buddy of mine has a kid who goes to Ohio State. He had to go to parents weekend and he was dreading it. I said, Why are you dreading it? He says, Because I don't really drink and everybody just gets so stupid and he said the worst offender is the parents. Like yeah. the, the kids yeah. are actually, you know, they're pretty chill. And they'll hang out with you for a while, yeah. but he says, you know, they tend to have a limited lifespan on how much they can tolerate you hanging sure. around all weekend. <laughs> like, they want you to find other things to do. Right. And, you know, all the parents want to do is sort of relive their college youth. And yeah. he said, for you know, as someone who doesn't really drink, that's, it's just, it's like torture for me. Oh, I couldn't imagine. Oh, yeah. You know, and worse, like, my wife loves to part. She's all about it. Yeah. So. 
I'm in hell that entire weekend. Oh, yeah, that would be But it rough. makes you feel so young. <laughs> it's so fun. That's what she said. <laughs> Come on, honey. We're staying out. Yeah. You're staying out. I'm going back to the hotel. <laughs> it's always fun on those weekends because if you ever drive downtown by all like the restaurants in OTR, you can see all the hungover parents and students like oh, going to brunch before yeah. mom and dad leave on yeah. Sunday morning. <laughs> yeah. And the parents don't be- bounce back as quickly oh, as no. uh, We got to get do. an IV drip after. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah. How old are your kids, John? Mine? Yeah. Teenagers. Crazy oh, teenagers. You're getting oh, there. The They're looking at they, you going on college visits yet? Actually, we just went to University of Tennessee a few weeks oh, ago. Really? You did? We UT. UT. Yep, saw Rocky oh, Top. Man. And my oh, son's wow. like, I want to go here. And I say, uh, how much does it cost? And what's oh, wrong with uh, Miami University, OU, or UC? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's a party town, though. I mean, the only thing in that area at UT is the college. Oh, and my it goodness. is like a good time. There yes. you go. Oh. You can go to any Ohio college or university for you about want. a third the price. And I will it's pay not for as it. It's fun, Dad. Come on, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Nine News Consumer Reporter John Matarese is here, so you don't waste your money. Hey, John. Good morning. Yeah, waste waste my money on college, but that's <laughs> another story for another day. How about Thanksgiving? Because coming up fast, and I was at Kroger yesterday. They've got all their displays out of all oh, the, yeah. the stuffing and the sweet potatoes mm-hmm. and all that. It's all there, and looks like it's a pretty good price. So we checked into it, and actually, uh, the government's saying your Thanksgiving dinner should cost about five dollars less this year to feed a family than last year, and that's great. Great you know, with inflation going on, that is awesome. Turkey prices—they're down quite a bit. I mean, you can find turkeys for $1.50 a pound. We went to this wonderful farm in northern Kentucky in Erlanger. Tui's yes. Turkey Farm. Have you been there? Oh, my gosh, for sure. Yeah, you should do the show there. I mean, yeah. it's just... It's so a fun much, time. So much for they got me to hold a turkey. This is like a big 30-pound turkey. They got chicken wow. yep, and they everything. Got, they got me to hold it. But they say they're holding the line this year on the price. It is not up from last year, and that is great. Uh, everything else, uh, potatoes, they're actually down. The one, You know what the one thing is that just keeps going up at the grocery store, and, and this will affect your... Your pies and your cookies, Uh-oh. eggs. I was gonna say they're back uh, in that three fifty. Oh my goodness, yeah. like three fifty, three seventy five. I mean, they they had fallen back down to like two bucks, and we're like, oh good, that's over with. And now they're back up to like three fifty. Just get a, a couple eggs. of chickens, John. That's right. Just have some chickens in your backyard, and uh, that'll be great. Wow. So our neighbor has seventeen chickens, and when I'm outside walking the dog, they have one rooster. And you, it is like you can hear it happening. Yeah. What time does that rooster wake you oh, up on like, Sunday morning? Uh, it's a, it's like 3, 4 in the morning, <laughs> 5, 6. It's crowing all the time. That's pretty good. And sometimes you can really hear the action. <laughs> oh, really? And you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. He gives it to those hens sometimes. I'm like, what is happening? So the good news is your Thanksgiving dinner should be a little cheaper this That's year. That's good. As I always say, don't waste your money. All right, buddy. What are you working on for tonight? Oh, we have a warning about all the things that can go wrong for Flying over the holidays. Oh, yeah. And how to avoid them. Oh, no. I can't avoid it. I wish I could avoid it. Yep. (laughs) Yeah, so now we... So there's only one airline that flies nonstop to Philadelphia that I know of. That's weird. You would think there'd be a lot of flights to Philadelphia. Yeah, I'll have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure because Delta doesn't fly nonstop to Philadelphia. Delta's cut back a lot of nonstop routes. Mm. Uh, you know, we we heard about them, you know, breaking down the hub ten years ago, but even in the past year, they've cut up more nonstop routes. There's Edison's. only like you, one or two flights, direct flights to Vegas. How yeah, is that yeah, possible? Yeah, Vegas. Uh, you, you look at other things. Uh, uh, Denver, they, they've just cut that flight recently. Boston, Philadelphia, it's getting trickier to fly Delta. But other airlines have stepped up. Frontier, big time. In We're Cincinnati. so lucky to have so many low-cost yeah, carriers Frontier, here. Frontier, cheap flights, and they're, they, they're making it almost a mini hub. There's so many. You've got some Allegiant. That's great. You've got, uh, and United has really stepped up. As Delta has pulled back, United has actually added more nonstop flights. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. That is good news. Good deal. All right, 746, Jeff and Jen, Cincinnati's Q102. Weather-wise, sunny skies today. It'll be pleasant. We'll see a high around 63. Right now, 46 at Q102.
Coming up, we got a brand new second date update. But first, Denise Johnson has a look at your roadways. What do we have? Looks like we still have that broken down vehicle northbound 75 at the lateral. A little bit of slow traffic from just north of Mitchell. Southbound 75 hitting the brakes a little heavier through the Lachlan split. Traffic is brought to you by Metro. A new kind of transit that's ready when you are. Ride Metro now. Learn more at go-metro.com. I'm Denise Johnson. That's your traffic. You start your